Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use an external hard drive with your Samsung Galaxy S2 device or any other um, or most other Android devices. Also, I'm just going to add this in here quick, but your um, your device that you are connecting it to will need to support OTG. Um, that's basically just meaning that it can support um, power output out of the device so that it can power um, drive. So just check on your, uh, look up your device and make sure it can support OTG or to do a quick check, just buy a little little cable like this, um, they're really cheap on Amazon, and then just plug that into your device. Um, you won't even need to plug a hard drive in or a flash drive, and then it will just say uh, USB connector connected if it works, and if it doesn't, then your device is not compatible. So first what you're going to need, or I would suggest with um, phones anyway, um, because they don't supply enough power for your hard drive, you're going to want a powered USB hub. So as you can see, it plugs into the wall, and then this would plug into your device, and then you can um, plug in multiple devices. This was only 10 bucks on Amazon, so um, you're going to need one of those if you're going to be using a hard drive. And um, you're also going to need an OTG cable. Basically, it's a micro USB to USB. And so, what you're going to do is first, you, if you want to um, access your hard drive, you're going to plug this in to your. Uh, hub your USB powered hub and then your hard drive should start up and then you're gonna plug um, this USB OTG adapter onto this USB obviously and then plug that into your device um, I'm not doing that right now because I only have one hand but then once you do that you should see at the top here there should be a little like uh, um, USB connected and then it should if it does support a hard drive then you'll be able to go into your files and then scroll down or just find something that has um, it'll have on the folder a little white looking um, thing like that and that means it's an external drive so it'll show up right here on mine um, it'll say USB drive um, and then you'll click that and you'll be able to access it okay but if that doesn't work for you here's what you're gonna have to do because this is an NTFS uh, drive like that's what it, the format of it is and um, this phone originally the Samsung Galaxy S2 only supports XFAT so since it only supports XFAT you're gonna have to root it um, and to root it you're gonna have to go to towelroot.com um, it's just normally how you'd spell towel so towelroot.com um, root your device um, and then you're just gonna install it and run it so once your device is rooted then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the Play Store actually I can just show you right here and you're gonna type in NTFS mounter okay and look for that exact one NTFS mounter okay and then once that is installed you don't even need to open it um, but it's just letting you know that it supports NTFS um, it, it supports all of those up there so anything you connect um, like that will be supported so anyway now I'll show you um, what it looks like when it's all set up okay so as you can see here I have everything connected we have the um, wall adapter plugged into our USB hub um, that's connected to my 2 terabyte Toshiba hard drive and then that is just an adapter to plug it into my phone so before my hard drive would not connect to my phone because it didn't support NTFS so it would just disconnect right away but now that we have the NTFS mounter app right there um, you're gonna oops so that's what it is NTFS mounter so then you're gonna go into your files folder and you're just gonna scroll to wherever you your USB storage is mine is right here um, and here's the thing guys I just had to cut this video because I had a problem with the hard or the phone um, connecting the hard drive so basically when um, you have to have uh, NTSF mount um, it's gonna say USB connector connected okay and then wait for it to say USB mass storage connected or whatever and then um, your USB still probably won't show up but then it'll like refresh it and then it'll say USB connector connected 
for a second time. So um, that's what happened for me anyway. So hopefully um, that helps. Anyway, then you're going to open up your USB storage and then you'll find your drive. So that is this hard drive um, that's connected to the phone. And then you can open it up and you can just look at all this stuff on your on your uh, hard drive on your phone. So I um, hope you guys like this video. If you did, uh, be sure to drop a like on it. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And I will get back to you guys as quick as I possibly can. Thanks.